graphic designer at Gensler. My family moved a lot from Chicago to Denver to Hawaii to Puerto Rico and then to Florida. I started swimming and it was a great way to create a sense of community. There I am. The other thing that I got interested in when I moved to Florida was painting. And I just had this passion for art and design and color. I wanted to create this sort of calm feeling and then the idea of bringing in the nature but also the wayfinding aspect. So triangles are make up the pattern and they change direction. I really wanted to go to Ringling College of Art and Design for fine arts. But I saw that my mom really struggled to raise three kids as a single parent. I had no idea that there was a thing called graphic design. When I went to school, I started as a political science major. I was like, oh, no, I didn't really like that. And got through that year knowing that I was going to Israel for a year to go to school. And working on a kibbutz, which is a communal farm and farming. I thought, okay, food science, I was growing food. and. First chemistry class was, nope, this isn't for me. And, and that whole art thing was just in the back of my mind. And I was looking through the University of Florida catalog and saw graphic design. I'm like, that's it, that's for me. This is where we, I had my drawing classes. This is where I'd get my art supplies. To me, AIGA means community. <laughs> when I came to Colorado, I joined AIGA National and saw that we didn't have a local presence and became part of the founding members of the local chapter. I also had joined a master swim team and one of my friends on the swim team, John Godro, was the head of the graphic design group at Gensler. I got my second job, my career was with Gensler and AIGA has been with me throughout my entire career. Jackson Hole is one of my favorite projects. I work on a lot of aviation projects, and this one was the smallest project that I've worked on, but just so special. It's all about integration and working with our architecture interiors team and really focusing on what, what is Jackson Hole about. I'm now on the board of directors for Access Gallery. It's a nonprofit gallery that brings the arts to people with disabilities. And that came through AIGA. I received the Robert Taylor Professional Grant so that I could take a two week summer residency on design for social change. And honestly, I don't think I would be where I am today without that work.